Hey, Kat, I know you are a big lover and supporter of animals. Um, what, are, what are some of the things that Animal Defenders International does that you love so much? Well, they go undercover. It's one of the things, yeah. And I just performed, I, I don't know if you know, um, and they were actually one of the main sponsors at Circus Paws, which was a benefit for Paws, you know. Um, and that was at the Avalon Theater in Hollywood. And I've recorded a new version of Bless the Beast and Children from my father's film, the 19, the 1971 film. I actually have a copy here. That's the promo copy. And I did a live version of that, believe it or not, at Circus Paws on September 30th with Le Petit Cirque. And they're amazing. They're a children's version of Cirque du Soleil. Kids from 6 to 14, and they are a circus, and it's all animal free. The show was off the hook. The Silhouettes performed you know, from America's Got Talent. Julian Pavone, the world's youngest drummer. Um, uh, I mean, there were so many. You have to Google on pausweb.org, but um, this organization was actually involved with that, and they were one of the main sponsors. So, you know, and of course, Bob Barker and Georgia have always been very supportive of um, elephants in captivity, which is one of my leading causes. And I had the world premiere of Elephants and Man, a litany of tragedy a couple of years ago. So that's why I'm very happy to be here tonight supporting this. What is it about animals that, I mean, what is it about elephants specifically that makes you want feel so close to them? Well, because elephants are perceived as being very strong and, um, you know, maybe even people intimidating, but they don't, people don't realize how sensitive they are, how sensitive their feet are, and how they, they're so familiar with each other, and, you know, a sanctuary is the best place for them, and um, Circus Pals is really dedicated more to elephants and retired elephants from Circus and zoos and where they don't belong and that's where the film that I had was all about that too Voice for the Animals Foundation which also was involved with Circus Paws that was a, a film you know for their organization and star-studded major celebrity support you know so I was very happy to be able to do it and recorded the song because of that because my mentor Lily Tomlin had encouraged me to I'd already done the song but she encouraged me to do a new version with a children's choir so when I did it it had um, um, the kids from Le Petit Cirque oh uh, on the track, oh, no, and they did it live with like, me. Oh my gosh! You know? now we, I, I so this is really you. okay. So yeah, it was it was a totally sold out show, and there were so many people sold out. There were three shows. Yeah. They only used the track for two of the shows, and I did it live for the evening VIP show on September 30th. Of course, Jan and Tim were there, and you know all the sponsors and celebrities. There were so many people there; it was amazing. So part of yeah. it is if you're if you're watching right now, you've already missed it. So how can they watch it? Or well, there, there's it? actual. If you go to pauseweb.org, there's videos, and then a, a new video for the song. I'm actually doing a new music video, which I can share with you. That's in the works. That will be an official video with the song, and then I'm also putting together. Um, with pause, you know, like a video montage of the actual show and performance. But there's some things up now. If you go to pauseweb.org, you can see the pre-show activities. Uh, there's like a promotional video. There's um, a whole video just using the song actually as the theme. And I'm hoping it'll be the theme for pause. That's what we're talking about. Oh, that is so. We're looking forward to. And Georgia was there, you know. So yeah, sat in the booth with me. Yeah, it was great. Oh, this is great to be here. Lily came to hear it. Susan Sarandon was there. Um, well, I'm leaving a, somebody out, there were so many people. Yeah. Lainey Kazan was working with me, she came, and her granddaughter used to be part of the Petite Cirque. So, and Natalie Galtier is just amazing, who founded it, she's the director and choreographer. If you go on the web, you'll see, and you, I can show you a photo, but... Okay. Um, this is not one of the representative photos, because there's so much stuff. I mean, I was dressed in Le Petite Cirque um, garb, so to speak, but this is just me and Lily when she... Um, came out to support. If you can see, it actually matches your microphone. And see, that oh was the gosh, outfit. It was a Terrell Turan headdress. Isn't that amazing? What a fabulous <laughs> outfit. These are not the best photos, but this will show the outfit. Is that not amazing? Oh, that's the amazing outfit. You, did. So you, can, you can see how honored I was to be part of it, really. It was just great. Yeah, you've done so much. If people want to catch up with you and what you're doing, of course, especially with animals, where's the best place to go on the internet? 
I'd say that the new website that I just put up a couple months ago is the title of the series, you'll know it, Cat Kramer's Films That Change the World.com, and I didn't abbreviate it, it's the whole title, Cat Kramer's Films That Change the World.com. You can also go to KatherineKramer.com, which is K-A-T-H-A-R-I-N-E-K-R-A-M-E-R, and then like I have three Facebook pages, and one to Cat Kramer's Films That Change the World, and just Google Cat Kramer, but... You know, right now I'm really trying to get uh, a lot of traffic on the website. So well, I've been watching what you've been doing, and I will tell you that you've selected a lot of films that really can change the world. You've well, been I had one today, job. actually, that was a, but it wasn't a premiere. It was a sneak preview about Dennis Hopper, who was one of my mentors. Yes, it was a distributor's sneak preview. I have the invite in my purse, but I am going to have a big one coming up in early 2013, so I'll make sure you know. It's a great, it's a women's issue. It's a, well, it's a human issue, but it's, it's definitely women women's rights oriented and it's a very very powerful film and then I'll do an animal one called Saving America's Horses I'm going to be doing that Katja Louise's film um, coming up so there's always animal rights as a main theme you know that I try and continue on with we're going to have to be watching you and see what you're up to especially, especially the animals I know and I had bullying as you know after that but right now you know the animals need us so. and that's a form of bullying too you know there's been some horrific things that have happened. So I'm so glad for like Tim and Jan and, and the work that they do. Yeah. Yeah. Animal Defenders for sure. Animal Defenders International. Yeah. Great. Great talking to you. Bye. I guess Scott is concerned.